Hello and welcome back to Shadow Boxer, where we learn something new and possibly lose brain cells in the process. Today we're going to discuss um, women in Christianity versus women in Islam. And please stick around to the end because I have a nice little surprise. All right, let's get to it. Okay, this is for women in Christianity. It says, husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So this is pretty basic to love your wife. Um, but here's the important part. You're supposed to love her so much that you would be willing to give your life for her. This is, this is amazing. Now let's look at Islam. Men are in charge of women. Okay, so already there's a different tone. Um, but I'm just going to skim through this uh, Quran verse and, and we're just going to get to the basics that women are to be obedient. And if men fear rebellion, they're to admonish them, uh, meaning to warn them, uh, to banish them to their bed because, you know, oh, oh you don't get any sex tonight, ruh row. And then, um, and then scream encourage them, which means to, to beat them. And there's no specific order really. Uh, you know, it's just, you do this one, you do this one, you do this one, you can do all three. It doesn't matter. Um, so, so let's, let's just look and see how hard we're supposed to beat these women here. Here's a hadith. It says that a woman came up to Aisha and she was, um, getting beaten by her husband so much that her skin turned green. This isn't the, the lie of the lightly with a toothbrush, you know, that's, it doesn't matter even if it were lightly with a toothbrush, you don't hit women, period. Okay, moving forward, we're going to look at um, bleeding women in the Bible versus bleeding women in the Quran. Okay, so here we find that a woman has been bleeding for 12 years. Um, she goes and touches Jesus's clothing, right? That's it, just his clothing, and she's healed. And not only that, now this woman is ritually unclean. She touches his clothing, and he turns around, and he calls her daughter. Now, let's go to Islam and see what Muhammad calls the bleeding women. This should be interesting. So he calls them defective. <laughs> Why? Because they're defective in their faith, and they can't fast during Ramadan because they get their menses. They get their period. So therefore, they can't fast and they're they're lacking, right? So you guys are, are deficient. I also wanted to look at this hadith where Muhammad's asking the women for money because apparently he's telling them that you can buy your way into heaven. You should give money. And this way uh, you can get to heaven because most of you are in hell. So give money to the prophet. And, uh, and they're, they're asking why. And he says, um, because you, you lack common sense. And then he says, oh, the reason why you lack common sense is, and here's the evidence, it's in the Quran, the Quran that he gave. <laughs> and here's the Quran. It says, but if two men are not available, then a man and two women are allowed to give their testimony. So it's... <laughs> It says, basically, you women are half brains. And if one of you guys forgets, one of you dumb women, if you forget, don't worry, the other dumb woman is going to remember for you. It's such nonsense. Let's, let's move on. Now let's look at women prophetesses in the Bible versus women prophetesses in the Quran. Okay, so here we see that Miriam, which is the sister of Aaron, not the fake Isa Miriam, but the actual Miriam. She's a prophetess. Uh, now let's look at the women in Islam that are prophetesses. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There's no prophetesses in Islam. I mean, did you really think that Muhammad was going to let a half brain be a prophetess? <laughs> All right, let's let's start wrapping this up and get into hadith of the day. Yay! Okay, so this hadith says that the prophet forbade that a man should drink while standing. Interesting. And now it's time for hypocrite of all time. Yay! I gave the messenger of Allah some zamzam to drink, and he drank it while standing. All right, guys, that's it for today. Please like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and we'll see you soon. God bless.